So let's talk about gulp. So for some of you, this is going to be total review, but it's going to be like five minutes. For some of you others, it'll be new. So when you're a web developer, you wind up doing a lot of work by hand. <clears throat> you know, minifying files, compacting them, processing images, starting and stopping web servers, reloading pages. There's a bunch of stuff you do manually, and it gets really not only boring, but error prone. So the idea is, can we automate some of this? And there's a bunch of automation tools out there. One of the older ones is called Grunt. Some of you remember old school make files, right, from way back in the day. The newer tools are basically Gulp and Webpack. Gulp is really the popular general purpose one. So, you know, if you're doing any of these things by hand, you really should be using a task runner like Gulp. The way it works is, let's say I wanted to do an uglify pass, which is to say, minifying my JavaScript and combining it. I would create a new file called gulpfile.js. It's a plain old JavaScript file. I would load the gulp plugin. Notice this require keyword. This is not from standard JavaScript. This is actually something imported from Node. This is Node's module system. So we're going to load the gulp module. We're going to load the gulp uglify module and save these. <coughs> And then each of these modules exposes a group of functions. So in Gulp, you define a task and give it a name, pass in a function. You can write this in ES6 notation if you have a preprocessor. Gulp source looks up one or more files using a wildcard pattern. It then puts them all into a stream. It basically pipes them to the next step, pipe, so Uglify takes all these files, compresses them, puts them together, cleans out unused references. It basically tightens up your JavaScript. And at the end, you have one or more files that get piped into the destination. Very simple model. So source, pipe it through one or more things, pipe it to the, pipe it to the output. <clears throat> just, just like that. So to set it up, you need Node and NPM, which come together. Install the Gulp CLI with Gulp-CLI. Um, create a project, install your Node plugins, write a Gulp file, and then you can run Gulp tasks from the command line. To do the install, um, NPM init to grab your existing plugins and then install Gulp and any other plugins you need. Remember to save them as development tools. Load any plugins you need in the Gulp file. Declare tasks by name. You can also see a list here usually of um, tasks, an array of task names. Those are prerequisites, task them on first. And then pipe them through the plugins and write them to the destination. And then you can call tasks by name from the command line. I told you it'd be five minutes or less. It's very simple. Right? In classes where everybody's done gulp, I just skip this bit. But you need this for the next bit, which is a lab using SW Toolbox and SW Precache. So let me do one more talk, which is SW Toolbox and Precache. Then we'll give you a lab, and then it'll be time for your team.